Hello everyone, it's Jackie here, just making a quick video to share another zigzag or accordion album with you. Um, I've made this from some Kane Company papers, a small pad. It was this size um, and I've used up the whole of it, I don't think I've even got the cover left. And it was um, a Brenda Walton um, pad that goes with the Fauna and Flora papers. So I used ribbon again to tie it up with. Um, this is dyed, uh, seam binding dyed with Distress paints in, uh, I think I used shabby shutters and peeled paint. Front cover is, uh, these birds are from the paper. I've used a little metal um, book plate with the word family in there and some flowers from a Marianne Creatables die. Just the papers layered up with some gemstones in the center. This is a really simple album. Um, I wanted to keep it flatter than the others I've made because it's going off in the post to somebody. So on in the first page, the inside front cover, there's a pocket, slight diagonal there with a couple of um, photo mats. That one's got the picture on both sides or pattern paper on both sides and this one has the pattern paper and I've stamped the back of all my journaling spots with um, bird related stamps. I've got quite a few of those. If you've seen my other or more recent videos um, you'll have seen this die cut before. Um, it's a memory box die layered up um, with chipboard, uh, three layers of chipboard or, or sorry, uh, quite lightweight cardstock and the pattern paper is the final layer. This is just a photo mat on this page with um, spellbinders, I think this is timeless rectangles, lovely set of dies that I've just bought. Then on the third page here I've got the bird again, facing the other way this time, Spellbinders label die and a couple of photo mats with the stamping on the reverse side, on the journaling side. And this is my usual type of belly band with a stopper at the bottom there just to stop the pieces going right through. Just got that one stuck, there we are. On this page there's a pocket, excuse me, um, I've used, sorry I probably should have said this is the um, a Martha Stewart uh, round the page, corner die and round the page die which I haven't used very much but I thought that was quite pretty so I used it again to edge this pocket, the flower dies again and a couple of photo mats um, there's a saying on there, keep a green bough in your heart and the singing bird will come. And another bird stamp on the back of the large tag there. And then on the back of that, there's another pocket. Again, these papers, although they were slightly um, longer than six by six, they didn't quite cover the whole length of this large page. So um, that's why the pockets are on both sides got another rectangle spellbinders die, the little bird cutout die. I've put three photo mats in this one. Um, this tag I've obviously topped with the Martha Stewart punch. I've got some bird feet on the back of that, a branch on the back of that one and a feather on the back of that. Those fit in there. This one has got a long pocket. I was quite limited by the amount of paper I had. I had very little paper, so I was squeezing every last bit out of it. Um, and this was one of the strips that were left. And a tag here, small one, stamping on the back. And there's a nest on the back of that one, just a plain photo mat there. And this, um, I wanted this little tag 
I wanted the ribbon to show when the whole thing was closed as I'll just show you again in a minute and on the final page two photo mats for obviously small photographs um, and the flower die there and then we're back at the beginning and you can see that the ribbons show up nicely and I tie it up with this one. Hope you like it, thank you for watching and I'll be back soon.